a little bit of that And when you add it up, you get a lot of laughs Ooh, we got originality Living with a split personality Ooh, yeah Ooh, yeah Two types of fun curious land of was. Get a look at those clouds. Hmm, I'd say the wuzzles are in for some nasty but colorful weather today. Looks like some change in the weather. I'll take mine in nickels, dimes, and quarters. <laughs> I prefer applause, but thunder clapping will do. <laughs> It's the worst I've ever seen. Why, it might rain forever. Maybe we should build a ark. Now, Musso, you promised that if I stayed with you, you wouldn't exaggerate. Well, don't just stand there. Start building. <laughs> Gotta get busy. Gotta be ready for these tropical fruit storms. Well, not every waffle is getting ready. You rumbling again. <laughs> Say, what's all the ruckus about? Uh, sorry, Croc, but there's a tropical fruit storm coming, and this roof's a wreck. Oh, bullfinch feathers. Well, that house boat's as sturdy as this hammock. It'll take more than a little old storm to ruin it. Does it? I think I'll try my favorite shopping center. May that be all, Butter Bear? Oh, this should get me through the storm. Uh, you better skedaddle before the fruit starts dropping. This shopping center doesn't have enough food to make a snack for a flat. This might come in handy. This pathetic umbrella has more holes than a mile of Swiss cheese bread. My umbrella! It's gone! Excuse me, Butter Bear, my dear. Surely you're not caught in this approaching deluge without an umbrella. Oh, hi, Croc. I had one right here. I, I wonder what could have happened to it. Some thief probably stole it. Here, you may have mine. Why, Croc, this is so unlike you. Thank you. But what will you use? Yours. I mean, you're not to worry about me. Now, get along now before you catch cold. <laughs> Well, I've done my good greed for the day. Hmm, another was oddity. Melon cherry rain. Around here, no one ever goes hungry on a rainy day. Some resourceful wuzzles are well prepared for such rainy days, while others are fully prepared to do nothing. Ugh, this is terrible. It could be worse. It could be raining coconut melons. <laughs> uh oh. I told you two to fix this roof. Hmm, 
just don't make cardboard roofs the way they used to. Now where am I gonna go? Here, bird doggy. Nice bird doggy. There must be some way to get that bird dog out and old croc in. <coughs> Afternoon. Are you the bird dog of the house? <laughs> Quick, there's no time to delay. You better get out of here before Wuzzle Beach fills up. Now, how long do you suppose it'll take that bird dog to realize he's been fooled by Croc? Tight, but comfy. Some gratitude. And after I was kind enough to house sit for you. Excuse me, Butter Bear, but I was wondering if you could suggest a nice rock I could crawl under to wait out this storm. Why, Croc, even you don't belong under a rock in this weather. Oh, yes. Otherwise, my cold might get <laughs> worse. Well, you were kind enough to give me your only umbrella today. You can stay here, but just until the storm passes. Oh, no, sweet thing. I wouldn't think of imposing myself on you. I'll survive this storm somehow. Well, I know of a big rock out back. But if you insist... Care for some hot moco cocoa and some honeyberry biscuits? <laughs> hot diggity! <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> I mean, if you're sure it isn't a bother. Not really. It'll be nice to have some company during the storm. Even if it's only you. Hmm. Having Croc around the house could be the start of something big. Big trouble. A big Croc full of trouble, you might say. Zippity doo thou, zippity a. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Hey, what's going on here? How come it's only raining on Butter Bear's house? There's just no sign of this nasty storm letting up. How strange. Most wuzzles just talk about the weather, but these two are actually doing something about it. They're faking it. How's it going, Brat? <laughs> Is your cold any better? Yeah, I feel terrific. I mean, why if you hadn't let me stay here, I'd have caught fruit on you by now. Well, I must go can some fruit in the cellar. What are you doing here? Why aren't you pitching a storm like I told you? Uh, we've only got enough fruit for a drizzle. Uh, shower at most. Mm, looks like I'm going to have to come up with another plan to make myself welcome a little longer. So listen to this. Uh-oh. When Croc puts his mind to something, it usually means trouble. It's only insufferable pain, Butter Bear. Nothing for you to worry your pretty head about. I already called the paramedics. Uh, did someone call for a paramedic? Will he be all right? Uh, does it hurt when I do this? Yeah! Yeah, don't do that! How bad is it? Looks like we'll have to operate. Oh, dear. Uh, you better go inside. This won't be pleasant. I'm 
I'm ordering this patient to bed for the next six weeks. Yes, of course. I'll see to it Croc has the best care possible. Thank you, dear lady. In no time, I'll be strong enough to run my errands. Errands? Oh, Croc, you're in no condition. You're right. It'd be so nice of you to run them for me. Wow. I better get going right away. This may take a while. As long as you're going out, would it be a bother to roll me out on the porch for some fresh air? Oh, yeah, this is much better. Just a little farther should be fine. And watch the bumps. <sighs> Yes, I'm sure the air will be even fresher up on top of this hill. Butterbear, what's the matter? You look too pooped to party. I am. My house guest is very demanding. Hey, what's that freeloader Croc doing here? Oh, Bumble Lion, don't be so suspicious. Croc did me a favor. Now I'm doing one for him. We gotta convince her that Croc is only conning her. I'm going to the market for you, Croc. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> you call yourself a refrigerator. Fourteen lunches and you're empty. Surely Butterbear has an extra supply stashed away somewhere. Hot diggity paradise cellar. Oh, so rich and creamy. Rich? I wish with the holes in the floor, Croc. My alibi. So make sure to get some of my tongue tingling, snout smacky, newfangled melon cherry juice. To get yours, stop by 1515 Lazy Bones Lane. Thank you. You're gonna love it. Yes, you're gonna love it. Step right up now. Don't be shy. Just what I thought. Croc's house. Okay, you can cut the phony disguise with me, Croc. Croc? Oh, no, no, no. I'm Croc's brother, Wilfred. Wilfred? Don't you believe me? Sure I do. I'll even give Croc your regards, because I'm going to Butter Bears to visit him right now. Hey, Rhinoki! Buzz me over to Butter Bears fast! Where's Croc? I'm telling you, he's up to no good. And when I open this door, the only thing you'll see is an empty bed with Croc sound asleep. Croc! See, I told you, it's not well. But, but... Wait a minute. Something doesn't look right. Don't be silly. Now Croc needs his rest. Let's see. I need three jars of melon cherry, two bottles of lemon-lime soda. Oh, no! Where's all my food? Oh, you poor thing. They must have wiped you out, too. Who did? The mole hogs. They burrow their way up through the floor and eat everything inside. Really? It's never happened before. Oh, they're real bad this year. Oh, what am I gonna do? It'll cost a lot of money to replace everything. Now, don't fret, sweet thing. Old Croc is here to help. Oh, Croc, I never knew you had such a generous nature. How can I repay you? Don't worry, I'll think of something. <laughs> Butterbear, don't you have a whole cellar full of food already? Not anymore. Croc said the mole hogs got in and ate all my supplies. Croc said? Wait a minute. So that's what he's up to. I think I know just who those mohawks might be. See, Butterbear, it was Croc who stole everything from your cellar. He's been faking all along. Oh, that Croc. He's been using me all along. And after I treated him just like his own mother. 
No, you didn't. His own mother threw him out. <laughs> Which is what I intend to do. That patient has worn my patients thin. No, Bumble Lion. That's too good for him. I have a better idea to really teach Croc a lesson. You do? Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best practical joke I've ever heard. Wish I'd thought of it. <laughs> when last we left, it looked like Butterbear and her friends were about to give Croc some medicine he'd find hard to swallow. Uh-oh. It looks like Croc's up to something, too. Oh, you look good in polka dots, boss. Here, now make like ghosts and disappear. But don't go too far away. I may need the paramedics again. Oh! Oh, Croc, you look terrible. And I feel oh so terrible. I must have caught the tropical goobly wuzzles. The tropical goobly wuzzles? I've never heard of that before. Oh, it's very rare. It's caused by overexposure to tropical fruit. I must have been overexposed after I gave you my only umbrella. Well, don't you worry, Croc. I'll make sure you get everything you deserve. Croc, old boy, you are a genius. A sheer genius. The tropical goobly wuzzles? There's no such disease. There is now. <laughs> oh boy, time for that practical joke. It sure is. If Croc wants us to think he's sick, then let's treat him like he's really sick. <laughs> Butterbear? What, what's up? Oh, Croc, I checked into that disease, the tropical goobly wuzzles, and it's much more serious than I thought. But don't you worry. I have some medicine cooking in the kitchen that should be just perfect for someone with your problem. Hmm. It looks like Croc actually caught something he only thought he made up. And I wonder what Butterbear is cooking up in the kitchen. This garlic radish and pepper onion sauce should tangle up Croc's taste buds. <laughs> Here, how about some of this liver spinach? Perfect. Is the medicine ready yet? Here, Moosel, you test it. <laughs> it tastes awful. Get awful. <laughs> oh, good. It's ready. <laughs> Nothing I hate more than medicine, but if you made it, I'm sure it'll tickle my taste buds. Oh, it will. I made it especially for you. Uh-oh, did I make it too hot? Yeah! Hot! Uh, my tongue could start a forest fire. <laughs> oh, listen to you. You're not breathing well. I'll have to put an onion mustard pack on your chest to clear your lungs. Why, that looks like the makings for a sandwich. <laughs> You're breathing better already. Now we've got to do something about those spots on your face. Oh, don't trouble yourself, dear lady. I really don't feel that bad. Oh, you will. If you don't let me take care of you, that is. A mud pack should get rid of those spots. But... How about a massage to help your sore muscles, Croc? Oh, that sounds delightful. Oh. Oh. How does that feel, Croc? That bed doesn't have the proper orthopedic support. You'll sleep like a baby Krakosaurus in this bed as soon as I figure out these darn buttons. Not that one! Mm -hmm. Maybe this one. Wow! Oh, poor Croc. Are you all right? I'm leaving. But you're not well yet. Yes, I am. I've been faking all along. Oh, dear. 
He's got the dancing deliriums. That's the last stage before the end. The end? We can't let him leave now. What are you doing? Help! I want out! I'm being crocked now! Here, you need more medicine. Oh, no, I'm not taking that again. Oh, yes, you will. I think Crocs just about had enough. <laughs> Are we ready for the grand finale? As soon as he's asleep. Flizzard! Mm -hmm. What took you so long? Ah, uh, we, uh, never mind. Just get into your paramedic outfits and get back here to get me out of here. Right, boss. Come on, brat. There's no place like home, even if it doesn't have a roof. It's getting worse. Croc, you must have caught upside-down-itis. What? The only cure is more tropical googly-wuzzle medicine. No, not that. been said, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. But in Croc's case, it should read, be it ever so crumble, there's no place like home. Uh -huh. 